Hi boys and girls, welcome to day one of Drawing Club at home. So today we're going to be drawing this uh, cute little rabbit and all you will need at home is a pencil and a pencil sharpener and an eraser and if you have them uh, maybe a black marker and some coloring pencils but you don't absolutely need them. But instead of using a pencil to draw with today I am going to use this gray marker just because it's a little easier for you guys to see at home and it's pretty much the same as I usually do um, in drawing club at school. So I'm going to start this little rabbit with a oval or with an oval for his head and then another kind of oval or circle shape for his body. And it's a little different than usual. In drawing club, obviously, I usually stop and wait for a long time before I keep drawing. But of course, you guys can pause the video at home if you need to, to keep up with me. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do his ear. Like this. And then the inside of the ear. Just like that. I'm going to do the other ear, which is folded over a little bit. So it's going to come up like this. It'll come down to there and back up to there. I'm going to do this part of the ear and then the inside and then the outside part of the ear, just like that. Next, I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to make the eyes nice and big because the rabbit will be cuter the bigger the eyes you give it. So there's a nice big round circle for one eye and another nice big round circle for the other eye. And then if you've come to drawing club with me at school, then you'll remember that we often put some light in the eyes. This usually makes these characters look a bit more cute. So I'll do two little um, shapes to show the light in his eyes. And then I will just quickly color the rest of those in. Uh, as usual, at the end of the drawing, I'm going to go back and outline all of this again with my black marker, um, because remember, you should be using a pencil right now, not a marker, to do this part of the drawing. Um, and that way we can change any lines or um, add any little details we want and make it look better. So there's the eyes. I'm going to put the little triangle nose right between the two eyes, just like that. And I think I'll add the whiskers now. There's two on each side, one there, and one there, and one here, and one there. And remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can uh, pause the video or you can ask somebody at home to pause the video for you. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the shape for that carrot. It's kind of a long triangle shape. It's going to come down past the bottom of the rabbit's body and come back up and I'm just going to finish it right there around where the rabbit's chin would be. I'm going to put the little uh, green part of the carrot, the leaves right here, like that. It's almost making a little cloud. And next I'm going to put the rabbit's toes. I'm going to draw three circles to show where the rabbit's toes are. And then the rest of the foot will come down like this and back up like that. And I'm going to do another foot on the other side, the same three circles for the toes. One, two, three. And then the rest of the foot just down like that and back up again. And I'm going to put the arms on next. So I'm going to draw out from this place here, right where his uh, face meets his body. I'm going to draw a line down for the arm. And another one here. And then I'm going to put the fingers holding the carrot, or his little paws holding the carrot. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side for his other arm. Down like this. And then the fingers holding the carrot. One, two, three. And I think, oh, I'll just, um, I'll add these details before I go in with the black marker just so you can see. So I'm going to just add a little bit of a 
fur kind of hair part of there. I'm going to make this a little bit more furry looking at the sides here. And I'll do the same over here. Just to give it a little bit more texture. And I'm going to just bring this part out so we can see where he's sitting down there. Okay. Now next, I'm going to move to my black marker. This is my outliner marker. So you should have done all of this part in pencil, but now if you have a black marker or a black pencil crayon, you can use those to outline your rabbit. Okay, so I'm gonna outline the ear here. There we go. Just like this. And that little tuft of hair at the top. And then the folded ear, the outside, and the little fold, and the inside of the ear. Just like this. Okay. And then again, showing that little, little bit of fur, just to make it not quite so smooth. Because rabbits have, you know, they have fur. There we go. Like that. And then I'll outline the whiskers again in black. One, two, three, four. You can see I sometimes make lines a little bit longer. I might change my lines a little bit as I do this part. If I'm not happy with how they came out the first time, I can use my black marker to make them look a little bit better. Here's the green part of the carrot again. And I think I'll do the rabbit's arms next because they're in front of the carrot. Now, of course, if I did this in pencil, the, the, the gray part of the drawing, if I did that in pencil, then I could erase some of the pencil lines I don't need at the end, and you might want to do that if you can. So for example, I will skip that little part there because that's not really part of the carrot that we can see. And I'll go down to the bottom. Now maybe I'll make the carrot a little bit more bumpy because carrots have bumps like that. And then I didn't put in those two lines because they, they're hidden behind the, the rabbit's paws. I'll do the rabbit's eyes next. Nice and big and cute. And color it in. You don't have to color in the eyes black if you don't want to. Um, on one of the drawings I'm going to do later this week, I'll show you that uh, you can also just, just outline the outside of the eye and outline the little light parts inside and then you could color this another color if you wanted or even uh, a couple of different colors but for today I'm just going to do this black okay just like that I have to be careful not to smudge my black marker because when it's wet it you can smudge it and it doesn't look great Okay, then the toes again, and the toe, and there we go. And see how I'm skipping some of these lines. I'm not going to outline all of the lines just because, again, some of them are, they should be hidden behind other parts of the drawing. So there we go. Finish where he's sitting down. I'm going to make this a little bit more furry at the sides here again, just to show that it is a rabbit and it has fur. And there's one thing I forgot to add, which uh, on my finished picture, you can see after I colored it, I had given him some um, light pink cheeks. So here, I'm just gonna put those in with my gray marker, like that. Just so I remember that when I color it, I'm supposed to color those in. And as I said, this is how I colored it. Um, you can change the colors if you want. But uh, that's one way to do it. So this I just did with some color pencil, some pink and some purple and some blue and some orange and green for the carrot. 
And that's it for today's first at-home drawing club. I hope you had a good time and I can't wait to see everyone here again tomorrow.